Je remercie le secrétaire général. I thank the secretary general. Thank you for your briefing. Um, I now give the floor to Mr. Jan Lecun. Merci, Monsieur le secrétaire. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. Uh, pour cette invitation. And thank you for this invitation. Secretary General, Excellencies, AI will profoundly transform the world in the coming years and decades. Simply put, AI will amplify human intelligence. AI is accelerating progress in science and medicine. AI is facilitating access to information and knowledge. AI is making more people more informed, more creative, and more productive. In the coming decade, AI will become pervasive. Everyone will have access to virtual staff of AI assistants at all times. They will help us in our daily lives like a staff of human assistants. We will interact with them through wearable devices like smart glasses and smartphones. They will provide easy access to knowledge in every language in the world. AI will supercharge productivity and human creativity. It will help countries with aging and decreasing populations. It will turbocharge scientific and technological progress. It will help us solve some of the biggest problems facing humanity, such as climate change, the treatment of cancer, as well as endemic or chronic diseases. AI systems will eventually constitute a repository of all human knowledge. AI systems are produced, produced in two phases. One is training a foundation model, and the second phase is fine-tuning it for a particular application. Foundation models must be trained on all the world's cultural materials in all languages if we want them to be accessible and useful to everyone around the world. Since all of our digital diet will eventually be mediated by AI systems, fine-tuned systems need to be numerous, diverse, to represent all cultures and value systems around the world. Two conditions are necessary for this to happen. Foundation models must be free and open source. And second, training must be performed in a collaborative and distributed fashion in multiple data centers around the world. Governments and the private sector must work together to ensure this global network of infrastructure exists to support the development of AI, enabling people all over the world to participate in the creation of a common resource. The future of AI is inevitably one in which free and open source foundation model will dominate. History shows that infrastructure software platforms always end up being open source. For example, the software infrastructure of the internet and the mobile communication networks are entirely open source. Um, it is clearly unacceptable for many governments around the world that the digital diet of their citizen be controlled by a handful of companies. Meta has taken a leading role in producing and distributing free and open source foundation models, such as the Lama family. Lama has enabled the emergence of an entire AI industry around the world. It's been downloaded 650 million times since mid 2023. 85,000 open models derived from Lama have been published around the world, all open. A quickly growing number of companies, large and small, as well as government institutions, nonprofits, etc., build custom products and services by fine tuning Lama foundation models. Applications include sectors such as agriculture and food production, education, healthcare, manufacturing, environmental preservation. We have observed an acceleration of progress due to the open source nature of LAMA and other similar models through contributions from academic labs, independent developers, startup companies, and large corporations. There's a big question about safety. AI applications, of course, must be deployed safely. Foundation models must go through rigorous testing and red teaming. Historically, though, open source platforms have been more secure than proprietary ones. And predictions of a flood of AI-generated disinformation due to the availability of AI systems have clearly been overblown. There is no evidence that current forms of AI present any existential risk 
or even a significant, 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 sorry, significantly increased threats over traditional technology such as search engines and textbooks. Current AI technology is very focused on text and language, not on the real world. This limits its applicability at, at present. Do not, uh, current AI systems do not understand the real world, do not have persistent memory, and cannot really reason and plan. They cannot learn new skills with the same speed and efficiency as humans or even animals. But AI will make dramatic progress over the next decade. There is no question that at some point in the future, AI system will match and surpass human intellectual capabilities. They will be very different from current AI systems. They will be capable of understanding the physical world to remember, to reason, and plan. They may have some level of common sense. It will not happen tomorrow, probably over the next decade or two. Those superintelligence systems will do our bidding and remain under our control. They will accomplish tasks that we give them, subject to safety guardrails. Guardrails will shape their behavior similarly to how inviolable laws would shape human behavior. It is often said that AI is enabling the next industrial revolution. I think the effect of AI on society may be more akin to the invention of the printing press and the wide dissemination of knowledge through printed, printed material. By amplifying human intelligence, AI may bring not just a new industrial revolution, but a new renaissance, a new period of enlightenment for humanity. In this way, AI can contribute towards the maintenance of international peace and security, the vital mission of the UN Security Council, by supercharging the diffusion of knowledge and powering global economic growth. As with the internet, international co uh, cooperation should focus on two initiatives. Collecting cultural material, providing AI-focused supercomputers in multiple regions around the world, and establishing a modus operandi for the distributed training of a free and open universal foundation model. Second, Unifying, unifying the regulatory landscape so that the development and deployment of open source foundation model is not hindered. Merci beaucoup pour votre attention. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Lacoon, for the very thoughtful briefing. Um, I now give the floor to Ms.